Until I talk about a plane wave solution, and uh, now here I will discuss the uh, solution of energy because we are getting four energy states. Uh, sorry, four values of energy means uh, two corresponds to positive and two corresponds to negative, and but both are having the same value so as we know that e plus minus is equal to m not square c4 c square pz square whole raised to power 1 by 2 so here each is occurring twice that's what we have to keep in mind now this is just that hmm. that Drax equation equation describe particles which have negative energies right that is E is or E negative is less than equal to minus M not C square and the negative energy solution solution cannot be ignored in quantum mechanics. because we are getting here because discrete change discrete change in or the discrete change of energy can occur right so this is shown as well. Let me have a look at it. How things looks like. So it is our energy axis, and say this corresponds to zero energy state, and then this is one value of energy. This is another value of energy. Right, and corresponds there are discrete values of energies and so on up to infinity plus infinity and here it is also from here to here like this right and here it keep on goes like this up to plus infinity and it goes like this up to minus infinity and here the value of energy will be zero and here this value is plus m not c square and here it is minus m not c square this is the spectrum so and here there is a this is the difference between these two right so here this figure represents the positive and negative energy states in positive and negative energy states in Dirac theory right so this is the energy spectrum which we are getting out of uh, the solution which we are getting from the solution of track equation so <coughs> the idea of a particle having negative energy and negative mass leads to a 
exchange consequences. That is, if there is an attractive force acting on such particles, acting on such particles that is having negative energy or negative mass, then it tends to repel it because an attractive force and attract a particle having positive mass but if it is a negative mass that means it will repel that's a very strange consequence which is emerging out from this negative energy states right so the Dirac electron The Strack electron, electron have a ground state defined by states with energy. E is less than equal to minus m not c square because here it is zero energy and it is minus m not c, c square so if energy is less than equal to this that means this represents the drag electron and if electron is sitting in this c of negative energy states then They are defined by this one. So, this corresponds to ground state, right? Why? This is the initial observation, right? So, while the states with, with energy greater than equal to m not c square, they represent all excited states. in according to quantum theory so means these states they all represents the excited states right so that means if some electron wants to go from this level to this level so that means we have to give some energy or the radiation whose energy is greater than equal to 2m not c square means an electron bound to an atom means if an electron bound to an atom can emit radiation of energy 2m not c square But if some electron is here somewhere and there is a possibility it may go spontaneous emission means it goes down to the lower energy levels so if goes to the lower energy levels that means it, it keep on moving towards the lowest energy level means there is a possibility means when E will be equal to minus infinity it will, it will go there but if electron sitting here it goes to the e is equal to minus infinity and this makes the atom completely unstable right so this is the main drawback if i uh, try to understand this uh, drag formulation only simple the basis which we are getting so also once if an electron in one of the negative energy state in one of the negative energy state 
that is say e is equal to minus m not c square then by spontaneous emission then by spontaneous emission it can go deep down it can go deep down to level e is equal to minus infinity and this makes atom unstable right so how uh, tackle this problem drag means the stability instability of the atom which is coming because of the negative energy states so to avoid this difficulty drag interpreted interpreted ground state <coughs> that is and this ground state is also called vacuum state vacuum state or drag vacuum consist of all negative energy states so let me understand it pictorially this is the zero level right so see this is the one level which we are getting it is m not c squared with negative and here there is a level at it is plus m not c squared it is positive energy level and these are the lower lying levels right up to minus infinity and he call this as these all states as the vacuum states they call it as or vacuum states so in other words we can say that means if i try to understand it means in other words what we can say that say that negative energy states are negative energy states are occupied and all the positive energy states are unoccupied because they corresponds to vacuum states corresponds to ground states so that means all these states are occupied but higher energy means positive energy states are all are unoccupied and here e is less than 0 and energy lies from m not c square is e and this means this this corresponds to this is the mathematical state meant for, for uh, vacuum states or ground states right so now if you photon let us do what will happen now now if a photon now if a photon of energy if a photon of energy greater than 2m not c square interact with interact with infinitely infinitely negatively charged c of electron
that means it lift one electron to the positive energy state means if some electron will be here in this level and if energy is greater than 2m0 c square so that it may go to this state so it will lift to the positive energy state and what does it mean it if it goes to here that means here a vacancy will be created means this leads to this leads to vacant positions vacant position in the sea of drag vacuum in the sea of drag vacuum leads to a vacant position and uh, a hole is created due to this a hole is created in drag vacuum along with creation of electron creation of electron with positive energy right two things are happening right so hole is created in the drag vacuum and an electron is created in the uh, uh, in the positive energy state right so due to this because electron goes to and a hole will be created so this hole is the vacancy of electron so that means this hole must have positive charge and this positively charged hole is called positron this call and it must have mass m not and charge plus e thus a idea of thus idea of anti particle emerged out emerged out and electron has sorry so if we propose so if we propose this idea right here then electron has positive energy and hole or you can say that positron or sometimes it is called as anti particle of electron must have positive energy in drag vacuum right so positive energy in drag vacuum of anti particle and electron must have the positive energy right so uh, thus a very interesting result will comes out a uh, idea of anti particle will be emerged out because of the drag formulation so that's all for this lecture and in this lecture i talked about uh, negative energy c hole and its interpretation and the concept of anti particle or positron so that's all for this lecture